Hey everybody, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 67 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, we're gonna go for this big Poe again, and I'm gonna fail probably. And I'm gonna have to go buy more arrows. Yep, I just failed. Because you need two arrows. Duh. Alright, so you can go buy arrows in Kakariko or whatever. I could just ride through the grass and see if I can find any, but that's a hassle. So I'm gonna go buy more arrows and I will meet you back by that wall. See you guys then. Alright guys, I'm back now, got a full quiver and we're ready to take on this Poe again. Let's see if I can consume all 40 arrows on this one Poe. That would be epic fail for sure. And... come on. Yes! Awesome. Only wasted 4 arrows. 10% of my quiver. That sounds like a lot, but... whatever. And this will fill up our last bottle. Okay. So I'm gonna go turn in these three pose. And I will meet you back well at the next pose location. So uh cut it. Okay guys, I'm back now. Um my rupees got filled up from the three pose that I put in from buying the air from buying the arrows, so that's nice. Anyways, this next pose, the best way I can explain it is to go to the extreme northwest of the map, as you can see where I am right here. And you see that bush way out there, the farthest one out? You want to ride to the right of that bush, like in that general direction, and you will encounter the Poe. Just like that. That's the best way I can really explain it. And it's not too hard, because it actually goes in a straight line pretty much right in front of you. So it's not that hard to find, or to not that hard to get once you find it. It is pretty hard to find. All of these big Poe's are hard to find unless you find them on accident, I guess. Anyways, there's two, there's actually two more pretty close to here. I'm not going to cut to those just because it'd be a pointless cut like that one from Kakariko to Long Long Ranch that I did uh, in the last video. But whatever. Okay, so for this one, you want to go pretty much right in this general area here and ride towards the right side of that tree, I think. Um, yep, there's the big po. Alright, and gotcha. Nice. I'm doing pretty good so far. Okay, get off now and go grab this second. Well, uh, what will this be? This will be. Uh, let me think. Four. Six, the big Poe out of ten. Wow, we're 60% done. Sweet. Okay, and this next one, you're gonna wanna kinda ride over here and. Oh, look at that. Oh, I missed it because it ran right into the wall. Which is why you want to go more over here, actually, towards uh, Lake Hylia's entrance. Turn around, and ride in this direction. Basically, just ride along the path, and you should find it pretty easily. Let's see here. Can I find it easily, please? Um, there we go. Hey, get over here, bitch. Stop, get, no, no! Poe, Poe, you bitch! I'm gonna kill you, Poe, even though you're already dead, technically, because you're a ghost. Uh, so while I'm returning, what can I talk about? Oh, I know something. Um, I forget who it was, but some guy involved in Nintendo. I think he's pretty big. <laughs> um, I forget his name, though. It's so not Shigeru Miyamoto or anything, though. But he said that uh, the new Zelda, Zelda, Zelda Skyward Sword, is going to be a uh, predecessor to Ocarina of Time. So that's a little interesting. Um, everyone, a lot of people have pretty much already assumed that, but look how easy that was, dude. How'd you screw that up the first time? Yeah, a lot of people had assumed that it was going to be a predecessor talk right in time. And, um, yeah. I'm also extremely pumped for the uh, release of Ocarina of Time on 3DS, once the 3DS comes out, of course. Because a horse is a horse, of course, of course. Perfect thing to say while you're riding a horse, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go turn in these three pose, and I guess we'll talk about more stuff after I cut and come back. Sorry for all the cutting around in this video, but gotta do it. Got, don't want to waste time here, not on this tedious side quest. Okay, see you then. Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to cut in while I'm doing this, because I just realized that my head is shaking a little bit. I don't know why, um, but it's causing my microphone to shake, and that it was hap it started happening in the last little part where I was talking about E3 or something, or Skyward Sword. And so if there's any random little audio blips in there, uh, it's because of that. So I just wanted to forewarn you about that, just, or not forewarn technically, because it already, it were, already would happen. Stop talking. It already would have happened, but whatever. What's done is done, so 
yeah. Anyway, sorry about this. I'll see you at the next Po location. Okay, guys, I'm back now. Um, uh, what do you want, Abby? Those iron boots look like they weigh a ton. If you wear those boots, you may be able to walk at the bottom of a lake. No, it's... Uh, no, duh, dipshit. Didn't we already do that before at, like, Zora's Fountain? Anyway, so for the next big Poe, you're going to want to go around here, kind of close to that wall where the other Poe was. And there's a gray boulder over there. Ride towards the right of it, just like this. And if you if you do it correctly, you should get a big Poe to appear, just like that. Awesome. And can we just hit it? Stop. There we go. I was afraid I was going to miss that there. I was firing to the left and to the right of it. And it's like, dude, dude, don't miss it now. Dude, only 16 arrows left. Well, hopefully I can get the last two poses, because this is the eighth one. Awesome. And the last two poses are in the same general area. It's kind of hard to, like, distinguish them or whatever. Um, let's see. Um. Oh, God. What am I thinking? How can I explain this one? Oh, God. I didn't think you were going to come so soon. Damn it. I just wasted a bunch of arrows. Uh, but I have 18, which is two more than I just had a second ago, so I guess I got some in the grass somewhere. Anyway, so, from what I remember, to get this next pull, you're going to want to ride into this corner or something. And you kind of want to ride out, just out like this, towards the middle here, I think. I'm not totally sure. Oh yeah, towards these two trees, I'm pretty sure. In between them? Maybe? Maybe not? I just got stood up by a Poe. I'm so sad now. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, maybe between these two trees. That's how I got him to appear last time. Like, just a second ago, wasn't it? Maybe I had to ride from this corner here. Because there's kind of a corner here. Yeah. Alright, turn around. And kind of ride towards those two trees, maybe? Let's see. Is this going to work? Oh, God. Oh, to work towards the grass patch? I don't know. Whatever, oh, the, whatever works for you. Okay. That's one of them. Sweet. Alright, so let's go scoop that one up in our next, in our second to last empty bottle. And we have one more empty bottle, one more big po. We should get it done this episode. We have a good three and a half minutes left to get the last po. And then I'll go turn him in and we'll be done with this side quest. And then I'll think of el what whatever else I can do. Alright, so... Let me see. I know they got that Poe to appear by accident just like a, a minute or so ago. You, you all saw that too. It kind of it kind of took me as a surprise. Maybe I have to ride over here. Um... Um... <gasps> there it is! Oh my god. And I got you. There you go. That's, that's how you do that. That's how you do the big po side quest, y'all. Okay. So, grab our last big po here. And we are pretty much done with this. Except to go turn these in and show the reward. So, I guess we'll go do that. I'm just gonna kinda cut to Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Market. The castle Town. Whatever you wanna call it. I'm cutting to it. I will see you. Fail, Epona. You failed to jump the fence. You're not a good horse at all. I hate you forever now. Yeah, I'm gonna cut to the market. See you then. Alright guys, so we have one more big po to turn in here. Don't do that, Link. You stoop. Alright, oh, I can't even see the guy. He's hit. He's hiding. It's like I'm turning it into that, like, waving stick or something. Oh, you brought a po today. I have a different voice now. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. This is a big po. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 points on your card. If you earn a thousand points, you'll be a happy man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow! You have earned a thousand points, my brother. Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. I'm a ghost buster. Da na na na. No. Is that what you expected me to say? <laughs> because of you, I have extra inventory of big pose. So this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. Aw, oh, man. I was going to sell a bunch more ghosts to you, make a huge profit on it, you know? You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned a thousand points. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Just take this and run. And we get an empty bottle. That's our fourth bottle, completing our awesome bottle collection. Yeah, we got an empty bottle. An empty bottle? 
empty portal. I don't know what a portal is, and I don't know what it's like when it's empty, so... Whatever. And that's gonna be it for this episode. Looks like we're... We just passed ten minutes there. Um... Hey, Epona. What are you doing? So, thank you everybody for watching. Um... This has been Argon Matrix hunting the p many big poes of Hyrule Field. In the next episode, we're gonna do something else, and I'll tell you what that is in the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.